Stunning new research has found that giving patients a fibre-rich diet of fruits, vegetables, beans, nuts and whole grains to nourish their microbiome may improve the odds that the cancer treatment is effective for them. And in this video, we'll hear about a particular patient who achieved remarkable results with bowls of quinoa and broccoli. We know that eating fibre changes our microbiome, but new research has found it may boost cancer treatment. The composition of our gut microbiome appears to influence whether a cancer treatment called immunotherapy is successful or not. Do you know that 60 to 80% of the immune cells in your body reside in the gut? Cancer researchers think they've found an explanation for why some cancer drugs don't always work, and the answer may be found in the gut microbiome. The composition of a cancer patient's microbiome appears to influence whether immunotherapy, a groundbreaking cancer treatment, is successful in some patients. A clinical trial testing this theory is currently underway at the University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center, the largest cancer center in the US. In this study is a doctor called Hector Acton, a pediatrician who is undergoing immunotherapy treatments for stage four melanoma. And he said, quote, I'm eating triple the amount of fruits and vegetables that I used to eat. I ate healthy, but not to the levels that I am now. A huge portion of my plate is always vegetables, lots of quinoa, and anything I can find that has fibre in it. Dr Acton was diagnosed in November 2021 with melanoma that had spread to his lymph nodes, after his wife noticed a golf ball-sized lump on his back. He began immunotherapy and enrolled in the three-month diet trial. He went on to say, It was huge servings, like a plate heaping with broccoli, quinoa or mixed vegetables. It was an impressive amount more than I have ever eaten in one serving. In January, he underwent surgery and learned that the tumour was gone. There was just a bunch of scar tissue there, he said. There was no cancer to be found. Dr Acton is continuing immunotherapy for nine months and he has decided to continue his new way of eating. I feel better and I don't see any downside to it, he said. It makes me a healthier person overall and now cancer free. What a huge bonus. In the study he's part of, patients are given daily meals that include as much as 50 grams of daily fibre from foods like beans, lentils, brown rice, farro, fruits and vegetables, about twice the recommended amount of 25 to 30 grams of fibre a day. And the control group will eat a healthy diet that follows guidelines from the American Cancer Society. Did you know the average American eats roughly 15 grams of fibre a day? In this study, scientists discovered that mice with a strain of gut bacteria known as bifidobacterium had a stronger immune response against melanoma tumours than mice who lacked the bacteria. The researchers found that giving bifidobacterium to the deficient mice slowed tumour growth. What's more, combining the bacteria with an immunotherapy drug known as a checkpoint inhibitor nearly eradicated the tumours. Then, in these human studies, it showed that these checkpoint inhibitors were also more effective in cancer patients whose guts had more microbial diversity, as well as a greater abundance of several microbes, including these ones, which I won't attempt to pronounce. Patients with low levels of these and other microbes were less likely to respond to the treatment. One of the lead researchers in Dr Acton's trial pointed out that some of the gut microbes that appear to improve how patients respond to immunotherapy are known to thrive on fibre. These are bacteria that help us break down and utilise starch and fibres. The team looked at the diets of 128 melanoma patients and found that those who regularly ate large amounts of fibre from fruits, vegetables and other plant foods had better outcomes on immunotherapy than patients who ate the least amount of fibre. Their findings, published in December, show that every 5 gram increase in daily fibre intake was associated with a 30% lower risk of death or cancer progression. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos.